All right, guys, what's up? How to deadlift more? I get a lot of questions asking how I increase my deadlift so quick, even though I had that lower back injury from last year. But thank God, like I said, I recovered from that. As soon as I recovered, I started just tackling deadlifts. Again, it's funny. It's because of deadlifts I had that injury. So I couldn't low squat. I couldn't do a lot of things. But now it's pretty much like a done deal. Even if the pain comes back, it's like minor. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys this simple. First of all, quick history, right? Quick history. Hold on one second. All right, as you can see here, doing a little, little intro. Uh, my max was 365, then when it went up to 405, couldn't do it. Three weeks later, did it. Dick towel laid. Little, little shaking. Back felt great, so I figured, hey, let's keep pushing it. Two weeks later, added uh, 20 pounds. Easy. After, well, it wasn't really easy. That's a one hour, 30 minute workout. So that's what was impressive about it. So anyway, let me show you guys exactly what I did. All right, first and foremost, the most simplest method I use to keep adding, you know, poundage to my deadlift is uh, I stopped doing all that bullshit. You know, I'm not, I don't want to call it bullshit because it works. You know, all these programs that, you know, help you increase your deadlift, whatever. I think these are great for beginners, but the problem with that is it's too set in stone. And I really believe in training based on your instincts, following your instincts and things like that. So if you follow one of these programs, uh, it tells you do this on this day, this much weight, blah, blah, blah. So it gets boring and repetitive. And it's just, it's not, you don't use your instinct. You're just following the program. So it's great for beginners. But after a while, you know, if you like me and you want to just be wild, uh, I did it my way. So the number one thing that I did was I deadlifted more. It's that simple. I remember people were criticizing me because I would deadlift before chest, before chest day. I would deadlift before my back workouts. I would deadlift before my, my arm workouts. I was deadlifting left and right, right? And I was doing this thing where I was, uh, I was squatting before every workout. I was doing these crazy things. People were like, well, what are you doing? What are you doing? Well, I, I realized you want to get stronger to move. Do it more often. I just cannot do the typical once a week bullshit, deadlift once a week or squat once a week. You want to increase something. You want to get better at something. Do it more often. Why? Because my philosophy is if you get your body adapted to a movement, it becomes easier to perform. I mean, that's common sense. If your body gets used to, to doing something that it wasn't doing before, once it adapts to that, that movement becomes easier. So you could pile on the weight and your phone doesn't get fucked up. Plus, I learned from last year when I got my injury, I was doing the Jim Wendler 531. And I got injured because I was just following the thing, you know, to the T. But my phone sucked ass and I kept increasing the weight without fixing my phone. So it's really, it was really my fault at the time. And the reason why my phone kept sucking was because I was only deadlifting once a week according to the program. And doing something once a week is not enough for your body to adapt. So I started doing it like three times a week. And then boom, once my body got used to it, you guys noticed my form got better. I was able to keep my back straight instead of rounding like most people do. And I pulled all my maxes with a straight back and with decent form because I was doing it more often. So my number one advice is deadlift more often. Not, I won't say every, you know, seven days a week, but like every other day or just, you don't have to go really heavy. I wasn't going really heavy. I was just, all right, like I was saying, I wasn't um, doing super heavy every day. I was just doing like every other day whenever I felt like it, just to get my body used to the movement and the form and everything like that. And like I said, once my body got used to it, started shooting up and be, like I said before, doing deadlifts once a week on those programs was just not enough for my body to get used to it. So that's number one, deadlift more often. Pick some decent weight, uh, work on the form, work on the form, 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 endless, endless singles and doubles, whatever. The second thing is I noticed is I was using my legs a lot more. If you learn how to use your legs when you're deadlifting instead of your back, you be able to use a lot more weight and what i mean by that, a lot of us we just want to get the weight up so we just pick it up and like i said before your body will look for the easiest way to move the weight from point a to point b so your body will do whatever it can to get the weight up it's gonna you know use your back it's gonna become like a super hyper extension which is bad and that's how i got injured so you want to learn how to just push with your legs you know grab the weight let your arms serve as hooks pretend like your arms once your arms are locked in pretend like they don't even exist anymore pretend like you just the, the, the barbell is part of your body, right? Whatever weight it is. Pretend it's part of your body and your arms are just hooks. All you want to think about in that beginning stage is just push. Explode with your legs. One thing I do is I pretend like there's an explosion under my feet. And it just goes three, two, one. And once it explodes, I just push as hard as possible. Act like you're trying to push the entire planet down. Push up and then continue the momentum up. You don't want to push and then get stuck with your butt in the air and then try to do a hyper extension. You're going to get hurt. So you just want to push with your legs, keep the inertia going, keep the momentum going, 
and just lock out, bring your hips forward, you know, retract your scapula or whatever. But number two, learn how to use your legs. It's the most important thing. Learn how to pretend like everything else is does not exist except your legs in the beginning. After that, you do the triple extension. And the third thing is follow your instincts. Every time I, I broke my record, it was not a deadlift day. Like I said, it was not the day when I was supposed to lift to deadlift or even break my record. I just felt like, yo, I feel like breaking a record today. I mentioned another video. I went, did it, broke it. The second time, same thing. Third time, same thing. It was a random day. In fact, like I said, it was almost two hours into our workout. We were done. We finished the one back. It was time to go home. And I was like, you know what? That way looks fucking tasty right now. Let me try it. And I, first I put 405. That was my, my, my previous max. And I said, fuck it. Let me put 425, you know. Let's record it. And boom, pulled it. So you just got to follow your instincts. If, you, if it's the... If it's the day to do deadlifts or to break your PR and you don't feel like you got it, don't do it. Because it's an exercise that requires a lot of fucking balls. Once you pull that shit up, you are m <laughs> the chances that you're breaking your back multiply. So it's an exercise that's like do or die. So you can't just do it if you don't feel like doing it. Do it only when you're really confident and you can do it. It's all about confidence. A lot of us can, can one rep max a lot more than we have right now. It's just that we don't have the balls to do it. Because it's really dangerous. So follow your instincts. If you feel like it's, it's time for you to do it, even if it's not... Deadlift date, do it. Now, if you feel like it's not the time to do it, but it's deadlift date, don't do it. It's as simple as that. So, number one, deadlift more often. Number two, use your legs. And number three, um, follow your instincts. Hope that helps. So, next week, I'll try to hit 435 or 445. We'll see.